Hello friends, welcome to Tech Freak. Friends, in this video, we will see how we can write comparator using lambda expressions. So we know when we write a comparator, so we use this class. So let's open the class. So this is a class comparator and it have only one method which is this compare method. Okay. All the other methods are default methods or they belong to object class. So these are the different methods and this is the method which is belong to object class. And this is our interface and it is a functional interface. So now we know that as it's a functional interface, we can write lambda for the same. So now we can write the lambda for this compare method. So let me create a package inside this let's create a class okay so now let's declare a list which we need to sort so like this is a list of integer type Okay, so this is my error list. So before Java point eight, we need to sort this kind of list. So we use collections dot sort method. And this sort method take two arguments. First is the list and second is the comparator. So let's do this with old method. So like before Java 8. So here we pass a comparator. Let's pass a comparator by using anonymous inner class. Okay, and this is of type integer. Okay, so now we need to pass the unimplemented method, which is a compare method. So now let's provide the definition of this compare method. If give it as x and y so if x is less than y then return minus 1 x greater than y return 1 and else return 0 okay so let's print this before and after so let's run this so now as you can see before this is the list and after this is sorted so this is like before java 8 method so we use this kind of condition so we can also write these conditions in a single line so let me just write this in a single line like this return if x is less than y then return minus 1 okay else x is greater than y then return plus 1 else return 0 so let's run this one more time So this is sorted properly. So now let's use the lambda for the same. Okay. So collection dot sort list and here the computer we pass as a lambda expression. So now 
we can copy this kind of thing like this tends to this okay and we know if we have a single statement then we can remove this return also and we can also remove this and also remove this so this is a small and beautiful lambda for the above things so let me just remove all the things and just use this and now let me run this so now as you can see it is successfully sorted by using this single line so let me remove all the things okay so this is the one line code by using we can sort a list of integer so let me run this and you can see this is the sorted list in a single line of statement so this way we can write the lambdas for already existing classes like comparator so in the next video we try to create one more lambda for runnable interface which we use for creating threads so as you can see the runnable interface also contain let me just open the runnable interface so this runnable interface is also a function interface that contain only one abstract method which is a run method so we can also write lambda for the same run method so now we can create the threads also by using these lambdas so in the next video we use this runnable method and try to create a lambda for now if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching